was a crazy story that um that basically was a pain in the butt to read. I was depressed reading that story to you because it's not I mean you need to hear about everything that goes on in the news. I mean the Muslim nation is taking over and there's getting a lot of a lot of things that's happening and and we're trying to um get the Christian uh groups together and try to expand and go out there and preach the word of the gospel. Lord Jesus Christ is the way and the only way. There is no other way. All right? I mean you, 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 there is no other way. I mean, you can, you can try the other ways. It's up to you. But then, you know, why, why go through your whole entire life, maybe half your life, doing a way where, where I mean, come on, it's not complicated, people. Do the math. Go Google it. All right, look at all the Christian people and see what they got, and then look at all, all the Muslim people and see what they got. Then you'll understand. You, you know, then you can go. Okay, well, I can go here, here. You know, you can determine on what's what. You know. So that's, that's just basically how that works out, you know. I mean, I just don't understand. People is, is, is just crazy. I mean, they're just, they're just crazy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about another story here. And this story is about, let's see. This story is about my heart is with you and we remember that is the title first lady melania honors victims and survivors of the holocaust it's nice to see the top people get in there and pray for the people that is gone you know it's nice it's nice to see that international holocaust remembrance day was january 27 and both the first lady and her husband president trump commemorated commemorate commemorated commemorated it from the united states holocaust memorial museum in washington dc to yad Vashim in Jerusalem, Israel. People the world over will look time Saturday, January 27th, to remember the approximately 6 million Jewish people and millions of others who were murdered during the Holocaust. That is just terrible. That is just terrible to hear. You hear that kind of things, you know, it's just terrible. That's, that's a lot of people. International Holocaust Remembrance Day marked the anniversary of the liberation of the Auschwitz, 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 Birkenau concentration camp. As people paused to reflect over the horrors infected by Nazism, by Nazism. In Europe, world leaders also use the moment to condemn violence driven by religious and ethnic prosecution. Our nation is indebted, indebted to the Holocaust survivors, President Donald Trump said in the presidential message in International Holocaust Remembrance Day last week. Despite the tra trauma, they carry with them. They continue to educate us by sharing their experiences, strength, wisdom, and generosity of spirit to advance respect for human rights. The scale of the Holocaust depravity, depravity, the poverty, is difficult to fathom. Two out of every three Jewish people in Europe were killed. To grasp the scale of human suffering, it's important to remember that behind every statistic is a story. Lily Applebaum Malnek survived the death march from Auschwitz to Bergen-Belsen. We heard gunshots and they were shooting people in the back who couldn't keep up with the walking. 
she she remembers. It ended up being called the Death March because the the ravens and the gutters, the ravines and the gutters, they were all red from blood. Every bit of systematic as the murder, every bit as systematic as the murder was dehumanized, dehuman, was the dehumanization of those crowded into con, concentration camps across Europe. Even those who were spared death faced anything but a normal life once the Nazis, Naz, Nazis were defeated. Nazis. Nazis or Nazis? Nazis. I had no money. I had no clothes. I had no luggage. I had nothing. Blanca Rothschild recalls of her experience upon liberation. Both of these stories are part of the Holocaust Memorial Museum's tribute to the victims and survivors. First Lady Melania Trump visited the museum on Thursday, January 25th. She concluded her tour at the Hall of Remembrance, taking a moment of silence by the eternal flame memorial and lighting at candle. My thoughts and prayers are with the people whose lives and families were broken by the horrors of the Holocaust, the First Lady said. Yet it is also though, it is also through our shared humanity that we come together now, in, commemora in, com in, in commemoration, strength, and love, my heart is with you, and we remember. Amen to that. Now, we got to understand that these people were gathered together like cattle and slaughtered. I mean... To, to be there and to see something like that is the most sickest and disgustingest thing that you could ever imagine. I mean, to see all your loved ones just being slaughtered and killed and massacred just without a care in the world. I mean, wow. All we can do is pray that these people are in a better place. Pray that Jesus will take them away. And give them a choice because of the, the mass killing that happened there. Amen to that. Praise go all out for the families of all those individuals. My heart is with you. And we remember. We remember. First Lady Melania honors victims and survivors of the Holocaust. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Now that story is really um, important for us to see and to understand that there was a situation in our lives that was pretty tragic, you know. And we can't, you know, we can't, um, we can't just uh, ignore it, you know. We got to remember it. We gotta remember.